Good evening, good day, good morning. This is Dr. Juan Ramon Aviles Morales uh, from Taino DNA and Genealogy. Today we're going to go over how to do a simple one to one autosomal comparison on GemMatch. So here is the login page. Enter your email address and your password, and let's begin. So here we have my login page. Um, this is an account I created um, for uh, Taino DNA. Uh, this is my email address if you guys want to reach out to me. Uh, and I'm just going to go over some simple housekeeping. Uh, look at certain icons that you might see so you could become familiar with them. Um, the first one, you see a check mark, which we see down here. It means that this kit. This number here is the kit on um, the name of the person. Uh, this is a Tunwainaro, which is the Lucayan Taino from the Bahamas from the 2018 um, Schroeder study, which he sequenced her genome from her remains um, that were found in Preacher's Cave in the Bahamas. Um, she was alive a thousand years ago. Uh, so we named her. Uh, I was able to download her whole genome sequence and I was able to convert it into a file that I was later able to upload to GemMatch. This is her kit number. This is another kit uh, from a, another study from Schroeder uh, from the 2020 and this is from a Guanajuato Bay. Um, as you can see this icon indicates it has not been tokenized so this is not ready for comparisons. Uh, it might take some time and it might not work out we're not sure yet because this is something new this is another ancient dna uh, which later we will make available to the public um, gemmatch has been working and has been verigen has been graceful to assist us in obtaining all these uh, dna samples um, onto gemmatch so uh, when you look on the right if you've gotten to this point you already knew how to upload your raw data files from the direct consumer companies as you can see 23andme family tree dna ancestor dna uh, there's some other options um, you could do a one-to-many comparisons that's where you compare yourself to thousands of kits even millions on the gem match um, database and you'll get back about 500 that are closely related to you uh, or distantly and then there is the one-to-one -one autosomal DNA comparison, which we're going to use in a moment. Then there's the one-to-one -one X chromosome DNA comparison. This is a sex chromosome. Um, males have one, females have two. Uh, and you could sort of trace uh, the X chromosome that's handed down from mothers or fathers uh, to their offspring. And it's, it's helpful. It's helpful, and then the admixture uh, when when you log in at another time, we'll do we'll do it. Shows you uh, your percentage of geographically where you may come from. Okay, and then there are archaic DNA matches, which um, you can compare yourself to the database of ancient um, DNA, such as the Clovis Anzic child and uh, Kennewick man. A few others, and then there's the ancestor projects, which we have two of them. We have the Taino DNA and genealogy, and we also have the Council of Native Caribbean um, Heritage or CONCH. Uh, we also have those there, and here are a few others. You can upload your GEDCOM file, which is your family tree. I will go over that on another video. So, and if you want further these other options you have to this is a tier one category and you have to pay a ten dollars a month um, fee to be able to use these other options which are really cool and we will go over in another occasion so let's begin so here we go we click on the one-to-one -one autosomal comparison i'm going to enter uh which is q k I'm sorry, 8102408. And then I'm going to enter my own, which is here. And I'm going to compare my kit to a Tunwa Inaru. 
All right, and let's see what we got. And here are some other options. You can see the graphics and the position. The graphics is you see the actual um, the representations of your chromosomes and where on the chromosomes the position um, the DNA matches are found. Okay, I never mess with this build to that is um, more for people who are familiar with GEMmatch and want to change to different type of um, setup for the DNA uh, uploads between the companies. I just leave it at 37 and keep it there and I had no problems. Also the resolution, I leave that alone. This later we will modify and we will um, see what we find. Okay, so this one is just the SNP window size, 200 or 400. I just leave it alone. Uh, and this value here for the centimorgans, the minimal segment size, default to 7. Usually it's accepted as 7 or above. Some say 16 centimorgans are, are more indicative of an actual match. Uh, and anything less than 7 is probably random and uh, is not a good match per se. All right. So let's compare. Here we go. So this is the kit for Ethnoinado and also mentions mine, where I got it from. She was from a research study. Mine was from Ancestry. So here we go. We look and you will notice there's some colorings on, on the top. Um, you can see no match is red. And over here there are no matches. Then there are some based with a half match. So it's not really really a good match and then we we look at on the bottom if it's a significant moderate low or no match so on the bottom over here you see it's black it's not a match so I have really no match with a Thunwa on chromosome 1 neither on chromosome 2 neither on chromosome 3 4 5 6 7 we're looking again at the bottom if it's black it's no match, okay? And if it comes back a different color, a bigger size, you'll see in a moment. Voila, here we go. You see this big blue segment? This is a significant match. It's 8.2 centimorgans, which is significant. And it tells us at which position it starts. So this is a starting end position on chromosome 12 where this match was found. So I have a weak match, uh, just to remind you, uh, a parent to child match would have a, about three, uh, approximately 3,000 centimorgans, 3.5 thousand up to 3,000. And then if you have a sibling, it's about um, 2.5 thousand. I'm, and these are rough estimates, so please don't quote me on them. And your know, first cousin might be about uh, 800 centimorgans. Anyway, so let's scroll down, and you only see it on really on chromosome 12. The others are not showing. So, so the largest segment was 8.2 centimeters. That was just one segment, really. We found some people have more. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you see on the bottom this most recent common ancestor for ancient DNA. Just disregard this. You can't. Uh, there are too many generations between me and Atunwa Inaro. There's about a good, um, probably 16 to 20 generations. So no, this is not accurate. All right. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go back and modify the values. Um, for here, for the size of the segments, I'm going to put three. Three is the minimum threshold. Anything less than three is pretty much random. And some people would say the same thing about anything less than seven. I recommend against using um, sizes less than seven. Uh, anything less than that is not a true uh, match and can be random. So you can't disprove it and you can't prove it. So um, I say, why bother? I'm going to change this a little bit here. I'm going to put to display only chromosomes with match segments. So you won't see all the other ones that are not. And let's run it again. Now, since I've lowered the threshold to three, centi uh, three centimorgans, you're gonna see ones that are higher but um, than three centimorgans. 
um, that before were filtered out. So when I had the seven, this one didn't go through because it's less than seven. Uh, I think this is more towards chance. Uh, you could see they say according to um, the new parameter I set of three centimorgans, these are now significant, which I think they're just random. But uh, when I change the setting, you see how much more I match a Tunuai Naru. Um, but I would recommend keeping it at seven. All right. So that wraps it up for us. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. Uh, let me go to the home page. And here's my email, guara2 at tainodna.org. Uh, if you match me, hey, I would like to hear from you. Uh, if you match a Tunwa, absolutely like to hear from you also. Uh, and please do us a favor and subscribe to our channel. And uh, we appreciate it and hope you can benefit from this video. And look out for many more that we will be publishing soon.